Hi, oh, what's up guys? It's Roscoe here. I'm going to do a PvP pet battle video. And I'm just going to run this team. It's one of a lot of, uh, I suppose, variants. Um, so what I mean by that is that the Darhorn can high roll, roll or low roll. Uh, the same with the Trap. Um, both can win games essentially on their own. But they can also um, lose games on their own. So, uh, lose games if you you aren't lucky, right? If you don't, if you if you're unlucky in the game, it probably decides you're not gonna gonna do well. And actually, the the Dire Horde, especially this one, is actually been one I've been playing a, a lot more, um, in in my meta, anyway. And that's because I've faced a lot of um, the pet the quills, or the lost quill, the pens. Um, and it, do, it does well against them because nearly always they open with the sleep so if you just go first um, you should hit them if you don't it's unlucky but if they start on the back line you can probably will cry I've put the, the carpal on here because it has the barrage and then the rest so that can does it you duke out cooldowns with the rest to then start with that with it being seven rounds will it ever be a use i think maybe maybe that'll once in a while come into play over the eight round cooldown of other things so let's see okay Interesting team, actually. Let's do that. And then I'll get out. I mean, it has just got the stampede. <laughs> I wouldn't especially want to get hit by. Ah, uh, let's go for this. So in the third round, if it is um, headbutt, I quite like going for that, but maybe I'll be quicker. I don't. Okay, so there's no um, no RNG involved there. I'll probably swap out into this thing. Okay, so nearly always this thing has humanoid damage. Nearly always. Okay. What do I want to do? Interesting. A fair whack of damage, I suppose, this is going to take. Um, so that will always be enough. Okay. We waste both of these rounds. I mean, what was this going to do? Oh, it will, will do enough. Does this even hit through? Yes, just. Okay. I'm not sure about that play there. And then what I'll do is I'll um, chuck down the magma trap, I think. It's 
Swapping's not really worthwhile, it doesn't do anything for me. I'll swap here. Still opportunity for that to go off. Let's do that first. There we go, the, the trap. I mean, the game was probably won. It's actually good. Like the, the games I've played tonight have not been against um, what I would define as like the established meta stuff. You no know, sandstorm, no anomalous, no super strong kind of darkness um, teams. Fortunately, I suppose. The one thing is, once people play this more and more, it gets me more and more, can mean... Okay. No sleeps. So... That's quicker. Uh, uh. See, I'm mindful that it maybe has Cocoon Strike. There we go. So, the Bone Barrage will take that down. And then if I do get slept here, I have the opportunity to go first again. You take away that ratio. Um, it's also probably enough HP. Let's get this down. Highest hell without other moth. Okay. There's just two of these need to hit. That's great. Definitely want to save this guy for, for later. Uh, this time I will go for this. The speed is irrelevant. He's just getting damage down on that guy in the back. Nice. If I take the damage on this thing. Okay, that's that's actually really really good for me because I kind of hope that that matchup is enough. Okay, maybe they'll like swap or something. See what it is. So there's into up there. So I can play this kind of well. Definitely that for the tick damage. Now we'll avoid. So 
so they should go for that interrupt. Not that it's going to matter, right? Um, yeah, I actually thought I'd left that maybe <laughs> a little bit open at the end there. I suppose, thankfully, they had the punch and not the, um, not the, was it the tongue lash? It's difficult. It was difficult because this didn't do well against two of their, their team. It was very difficult to kind of get uh, Blaze Hound value. And then the trap um, went off early by all accounts. Um, I essentially tried to play it so that the trap would be down. I would take out the, the moth or whatever it was. And then they'd have the trap up, one pet left. It's, it's likely to go off in the time that they could tank all these down. These two, wasn't it? Um, I was fortunate there was a crit in there, right, from the, the charge, and it never missed, so that was fortunate in a, in a way. And I didn't get slept. Cool, uh, Q's Pops. It was a bit more of a, a wait than the last kind of couple of games. Um, it kind of means one or two things, right? The guy who We'd faced if it was the same person. They are uh, went away and set a team up, or it's a new guy. Either way, I hope it's just not like super try hardy. Okay. Okay. So the play is, I, I have to have uh, the Magma Trap. Um, get incredible value from it, basically. This one ability could potentially win or lose me the game. Okay, they've gone early with that, so their view special isn't up. Sometimes they could swap. Okay. This would probably be the best turn for me for it to go off. Okay. Just pop that racial, which is um increase their food put. Okay. See, that is never the swap there. Uh, we'll get him out. It's going to bring in um, this Raven. Fine. I mean, I'm happy just to keep attacking here. They actually lucked out, so there's that. It's kind of... there's a lot on this trap now. Okay. Uh, it will be enough. <laughs> Would have been enough. It um, it, it wouldn't have mattered because I still had one round of being quicker. Um, this would have come in. This was about half health and undead, and still had uh this cooldown, and the anomalous was like super low um, health so trap massively impactful there 
And when you face um, AoE team, it's just something you have to do. Uh, one thing that they didn't especially do well was when this stunned and it left them at such a low um, health pool. I have AoE and I'm probably going to be quicker in all of these and I have the party move. Um, it's almost never worthwhile saving that. I don't really know why they would try. Um, so by them saving that, it let me get an extra attack on the Anomalous um, to then just swap it out. Um, the Retrieve works a lot like uh, Sweep, and it's the highest health, so it's really strong um, in this Anomalous meta. So Anomalous is in, you swap it out, and that Anomalous will never come back in um, at the start of the game. So their whole opener is messed up. Uh, yeah, other than that, the trap did really, really well. Really important for me to kind of, I suppose, lever my way in. It just gave me that control because interrupt and the stun. And then what can they do? It can't miss even under their darkness and stuff. They um they were quite lucky with the not kind of strike. I don't know why you do that when um Alpha Strike would have killed me as well. Uh, that was certainly a misplay um on their behalf. But yeah, uh cool team. Definitely enjoying playing this Darhorn in the meta. Um as I said there's a lot of variants or RNG with this team um in the when it high rolls, it can beat a lot of stuff. But if it low rolls, um, it might struggle. It, normally, if it kind of if middle of the the pack, you should do well. You should do well. From a quite strong, the trap more more than not will go off in a good opportunity, good time. Um, and this bone barrage offers two kind of things. So it's obviously a decoy breaker, and if you do start missing with it. Um, at least you've gone. I kind of got the um, this was that constant charge where any any kind of decoys or um, the quill thing, whatever it is, the the books just chips away, gets rid of them. And I used it against one of the the moth teams. Um, their coon um, attack it just t chipped that away. And I got my attack in first. Uh, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.